hello everyone. In this video I will show you how to place objects like missile silos on their real-world locations using the KMZ or KML files. To do this we open the unit placement menu, uh, we select the unit type that we want to place, uh, we select the primary unit, a launch control center, a secondary unit, a Minuteman 3 missile silo, and if we now click somewhere on the map, they will be distributed at the location of your cursor. But we don't want this, instead we want to select the locations from a KML file. To do this, we click on the, this KML button, and here you can select your KML file. If you don't have a KML file, uh, if you have a KMZ file, you have to unpack it with WinZip on, or 7-Zip or WinRAR. Um, and then inside will be a, a doc.kml file. Now you click on this button, uh, a menu will pop up that you don't see now, but there you can uh, select the KML file. Now we have selected the US ICBM sites KML. Here you can browse the folders of this file, you can uh, click on them, go into these folders. Uh, now we can select a base, let's select uh, uh, Minet base and you can go through the sectors. Now in this sector we have one launch control center and 10 missile silos. If we click on them uh, a description uh, will be shown to us and a cursor will be placed on the map where this uh, object is located. Uh, to select this location uh, we have to double click it and it will be added to the list of locations uh, where we want to place our units. Uh, now we only want to select uh, one location. Um, now we're done and the KML button is now shining green, meaning that we have real-world locations for this primary unit. Now we want to do the same for the secondary unit. Uh, we click again on the KML button, we clear the list because we don't want the launch control center anymore. Now we want the missile silos themselves. Again, we double-click on them to add them to the list. Now we have 10 missile silos, we click done. And now to place them on the map, we have to click this place button and the objects will be distributed to their real world locations. What we have done now is we have selected locations for the primary unit and we have selected the locations for the secondary unit. If we only want to select the locations for the primary unit, and place the, all the secondary units on this location of the primary unit, uh, like in case of um, bomber bases, where all the bombers will be at the same location as the primary unit. Uh, we only have to select the locations of this primary unit. We again have to click on the KML button, we have to select a, a KML file, here we select uh, the uh, folder, there we can select a, a base, let's select three bases and now we are done with the selection of these locations and if we click place then we will see that uh, a base will be placed there together with 15 bombers on each base. So this is how you place uh, objects on the real-world location in the simulation. Thank you for your attention.